Hi welcome to Micro 171. At almost 100 days into his presidency, Donald Trump's national approval rating seems stuck at a record low 40% or so. But a group of voters who helped put him in the White House say he's doing just fine even great. The president scores a perfect 100% approval rating in the USA Today Trump Voter Panel, a nationwide group of 25 Trump voters who make up a sort of floating focus group on how the president fares among those who backed him. He's not being pushed around, Deidre Brady, 48, of Broadway, NC, says approvingly. Tara Kimball, 61, of Bro Bridge, LA predicts with Trump-like bravado that history will judge him as a great president, he's doing a better job than anybody has done. While reviews from presidential scholars and the broader public are mixed at best, these core supporters remain solidly in Trump's corner. The sturdiness of that support, also reflected in national polls, gives the president a reliable political base even as he struggles to expand his appeal to those who didn't back him on election day. Indeed. Their assessments are more positive now than they were amid the afterglow of his inauguration in January. Almost half now say Trump is doing better than they expected when they voted for him. By an overwhelming margin, 23 to 2, they brush off the FBI's probe into Russian election meddling as mostly partisan political allegations unworthy of investigation and assertion at odds with top U.S. intelligence officials. I didn't see any Russians voting at the polls when I was there casting my ballot scoffs Ray Keener, 64, of Seminole, Texas. So how did they change the outcome? The panel, drawn from Trump voters in a December USA Today slash Suffolk University poll, aims to provide an unscientific snapshot at how he's doing among initial supporters. One original panelist has died since February, another Trump voter from the same poll was added. Subscribe to my channel, thanks.